Holy smokes, oh my god, totally unexpected, a new trailer just dropped, my guys, Tales of the Empire, it is no longer Tales of the Jedi, this time around it's gonna be so dark, I'm completely fascinated, and of course, after so many videos, after so many years, Dave Filoni finally answers what happened to Barriss Offee after she was arrested, you can see that we were mostly right, she became an Inquisitor, which was natural for her, but, you know, what happens to her after this now, there's a new question, so perhaps Perhaps we're going to be able to answer that during this review video. Thank you guys so much for joining. Let's get started because I'm so excited. I can't even, you know, get a coherent thought. It's so freaking crazy. The opening shot itself is so magnificent. Thrawn and Morgan Elsbeth watching over Imperial Star Destroyers hovering over the same planet, I assume, where Din Djarin goes to meet Ahsoka for the first time in Mandalorian Season 2. During the episode, you can already see that Morgan Elsbeth offers her services to the Empire and to Thrawn, and she even gets settled in in this complex. Already, people have started to suffer. As you see, people are gripped by fear from her being anointed as the ruler of this community. What's interesting about these guys is that this guy appeared in The Mandalorian 2, but these other folks, this is completely Rebel Alliance uniforms. So perhaps Dave Filoni is teasing us that it seems that from this clan, this is where the Rebel Alliance got to its uniforms. It is perhaps started by these guys, and slowly throughout the years, it is adopted into a single outfit. And we get the backstory of Dathomir getting destroyed and all that. Honestly, I just want to get to the good part because I don't really care about Morgan Elsbeth that much. She died. We saw her die, so it isn't really that interesting. It's going to be interesting to see Thrawn, of course, and perhaps some Night Sister magic here and there. Mother Talzin perhaps makes a cameo too. Everything surrounding Morgan Elsbeth is interesting. Not her, unfortunately, for me, but May 4th is the release of all of these shorts that are coming Tales of the Empire. So I was predicting that something May 4th is going to come. I was thinking that there's going to be a new se a new clone series, but we knew for a while that Tales of the Jedi Season 2 was going to be coming, and it seems like it's not going to be Tales of the Jedi Season 2, it's going to be Tales of the Empire. What's interesting is that if it continues, who knows what's going to be called later on. So we see Thrawn in his early days in the Empire. He has yet to be made a Commodore, as you can see by his rank, and this is apparently where they first linked up, up until we see in the Ahsoka trailer where it all ended for Morgan Elsbeth. However, Thrawn continued. Now we get to the good part, the Coruscant prison. Behind what I presume is an Inquisitor, you see two Coruscant guards standing behind and Barriss Offee as a prisoner. She is here to present her with an opportunity and it mirrors the Emperor of offering an opportunity to Luke Skywalker. Both of them simultaneously use the Force to unshackle these prisoners. Now the new model for Barisafi looks absolutely stunning, and we almost have a new variation, black armored clones, which could be the pre-version of the Death Troopers, escorting her to what I assume later on we see the meeting with the Grand Inquisitor. Now the Grand Inquisitor gives her an opportunity to choose the dark side. He immediately starts training her. Now here's a fascinating tidbit that most of you might have forgotten, but yours truly, Mr. Bessie, has not. If you remember when Barisafi was arrested during the Clone Wars saga, there were Jedi Temple guards beside her following her to the trial. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Grand Inquisitor, before he became the Grand Inquisitor, he was originally a Jedi Temple guard. Then, after the Republic fell, he courted favor with the Emperor, who then formed the Inquisitorius and made him the Grand Inquisitor. So, I really, really believe that this scene is teasing us because, in the end, it will be the Grand Inquisitor, as he is training her and as he is talking to Barisafi, he will ultimately reveal that he was one of the Jedi Temple guards that was present when she was judged by then-Chancellor Palpatine to be imprisoned for the bombardment of the Jedi Temple. We also see that there is a new voice actor for the Grand Inquisitor and a new 3D model, a mock fresh mock-up. This is great because if this is immediately after Order 66, we kind of get the understanding why this is the Grand Inquisitor looks different, because in Star Wars Rebels, he is much older, almost 15 to 20 years older than here. And it's an interesting parallel as well, because we see Barisafi bleed, 
signifying that she has kind of lost her touch from the Clone Wars Republic days. And of course, I assume everybody screamed and stood when first witnessing that Grievous is back too, baby. This model looks absolutely stunning and fantastic. The setting looks to be Dathomir with Morgan Elsbeth is actually fighting against Grievous in what seems like a flashback to how the Grievous Separatist army destroyed not only Dathomir, but the Night Sisters altogether. And it's going to be cool to see Morgan Elsbeth in Night Sister form also, in her true form. Now we get an interesting scene after this because it's what seems to me like the seventh sister, the Inquisitor that we saw in Jedi Fallen Order and the one who gave this opportunity to Barriss Afi, fighting a Jedi survivor in an unknown planet and the person running towards them seems to be Barriss too. The next scene is just visually stunning and what I can say about this show is that this is peak Star Wars animation. The visuals from this show are so amazing and so insanely great that I really am fascinated. By the way, this scene kind of reminds me of where you fight Darth Vader, quote unquote fight Darth Vader in Jedi Fallen Order because keep in mind you fight Darth Vader in the Inquisitorious. So this could very well be the Inquis the early stages of the Inquisitorious, and that platform above where the Grand Inquisitor is standing could be the one where Darth Vader appeared and jumped down to you. Barriss Offee is made out to fight for her survival at this point, and unfortunately the trailer kind of gives away the story because we see Barriss Offee as an Inquisitor bowing down, so it seems like she will pass this test. Whether that be easy or hard, we're gonna have to see. But the ending shot, of course, is nothing short of spectacular and the drama it's going to create. I can't even put in words how excited I am for this show. It's a month away. May 4th is going to come out. Today it's April 4th. This is amazing, really, because I knew from the moment the doors opened and the Inquisitor said, You're, this is your master, from the comics themselves, I know that it was shown that Palpatine gifted the Inquisitors to Darth Vader for him to be their master. And now for the third time, basically, we get to see Darth Vader in animated form, except for his helmet, of course. We only see his bottom half. But only that bottom half. How menacing was that? You hear the breath. And what's even more, what I said about the drama-filled episodes, he passes right past Barriss Offee. Of course, we all know from the Clone Wars animated series that Anakin Skywalker and Barriss Offee battled it out. It was actually Anakin who apprehended her. So when Darth Vader is now going to see her again, this is going to be really, really fascinating and interesting. I'm sure that Barriss Offee will not know at first who Darth Vader really is, that his identity is really Anakin Skywalker. Darth Vader will probably recognize her, but not infer as to his true identity and that he knows her. I believe that Barriss throughout the episodes will ultimately figure it out. Figure out that this dude, this familiar feeling I'm having when standing beside him, he is somebody I know and perhaps she will discover somehow that he is Anakin Skywalker. Man, what a trailer and what episodes await us. This is going to be just fascinating. I can't wait to cover and watch this episode with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. In the end, we get Tales of the Jedi and it morphs through fire into Empire. Can't wait. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think will happen? And I'm sure we're going to discuss a lot about this trailer more throughout the month. So talk to you guys later.